Karen, what are you doing here? I go to school here. My dad was just transferred. You two know each other? Oh, we met at Lake Wannabe during vacation. Good. Well, in that case, why don't you show Karen to her homeroom? She's in 103. Um, Zach, no bonus, Miles. <laughs> Come straight back to class. You got it, Miss Bliss. So why didn't you tell me? I, I didn't know. You don't seem that happy to see me. Happy? Oh, of course, I'm thrilled. I haven't been this excited since I... I, I got my driver's license. My driver's license? Well, it's an experimental program for a few select ninth graders. Wait, then you can take me into Indianapolis on Wednesday. Did you say Wednesday? Well, that's the one day the license isn't good. <laughs> so, this must be Karen. I'm Mikey. Hi, are you in the experimental ninth grade too? The one that meets off campus. Oh, yeah. Um, it's, uh, it's very experimental. <laughs> very secret. You can hide from where I do. Guys, better get moving. You're going to be late for your next class. Okay, okay. see you later, Zach. Okay, right, I'm out of here. Zach, just a minute. I want to talk to you. All right. What's going on? Nothing. What do you mean? What do I mean? You resigned as student council rep. Oh, that. Well, this year I promised myself that I would concentrate on my studies. <laughs> Don't con me. I need to be in the ninth grade. You will be. By tomorrow morning. <laughs> Does this have anything to do with Karen? If Karen saw me at the assembly, she'd find out I'm not in the ninth grade. How long do you think you can carry on with this lie? With any luck until she graduates. <laughs> Zach, you have to tell Karen the truth. But I like her too much to do that. See, she'll dump me. I promise you. She's going to find out. Okay. I'm desperate. I'll try anything. <laughs> Even the truth. Hey, Clara, how's your first week at CFK going? Great. She feels right at home. <laughs> Who wouldn't? Zach's with me every free moment I have. Well, when you get down to it, you can always count on Zach to do the right thing. Exactly, and that's why we don't want to be late for our next class. <laughs> oh, I think you'll make it, Zach. You have till tomorrow morning. <laughs> I knew that. I'll see you in homeroom, Miss Bliss. Did I say homeroom? <laughs> I guess I did. Well, actually, Miss Bliss has an experimental homeroom with eighth graders and a few special ninth graders like me to help out. Oh, uh, an experimental homeroom, a mystery campus that no one can find, and a driver's license doesn't work on Wednesdays? Get off it, Zach. You're in the eighth grade, aren't you? What makes you think that? Give me a break. You must think I'm an idiot. No, well, I... Zach, you lied to me. Well, it was just one lie. I swear, it'll never happen again. You're right, it won't happen again. Well, just give me a chance, please. See you around. Oh. Saturday still on? <laughs> Poor Zach. I can see this is really hard for you. It's worse than that. It's terrible. I mean, I didn't just tell Karen I liked her. I really did like her. I know you did. Well, I've never felt this bad before. Unfortunately, Zach. Getting hurt is all part of growing up. So it's easier when you're grown up? Actually, sometimes it's harder. Three years ago, I thought my world had ended. You mean when your husband died? Yeah. See, when you really care about someone, you never actually get over it. But you learn from it, and you deal with it, and life goes on. Miss Bliss, I'm sorry. I mean, I'm, I'm just a kid. You're talking about your husband. But, Zach. It's important to you, and I understand that. And you know, the great thing about being 14 is you'll bounce right back. 